We are blessed to be joined tonight by Corinne Owens, the widow of U.S. Navy Special Operator, Senior Chief William Ryan Owens. Ryan died as he lived, a warrior and a hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. For as the Bible teaches us, there is no greater act of love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Ryan laid down his life for his friends, for his country, and for our freedom. And we will never forget Ryan. Very big moment, uh, very powerful for everybody in the room and everybody watching. Most people lauded the president's tribute there. There were some critics, though, including documentary filmmaker Michael Moore, who blasted that moment. Watch. She's there yeah, as, well, a, as, a, as a sort of a F you to the just people who are criticizing him for this. And this poor woman, this widow who has lost her husband, she is in desperate grief with right now. She's in love with her husband still. And in love with her husband. And what did you think of that? And, and to use that is just put another notch on his belt. And yes. what's he thinking about? My ratings. And how many? Very good. So record far? applause. Record what, what is he? I'm going to get an Emmy for this. <laughs> Most applause for a dead soldier on my watch. I mean, this is the, the sickness of this man. Taya Kyle joins me now, widow of Navy SEAL Chris Kyle and a Fox News contributor. Taya, good evening to you. Your reaction. To Hi, both good of evening. Those. Good to have you here. What do, what do you think oh, about what Michael Moore had to say? Hey, Martha. You know, man, I just just listening to those clips, I have this myriad of emotions going through me. I can tell you that when I hear the applause and I hear the words being spoken about Ryan, I'm not thinking about politics in the slightest. What I'm thinking is that my heart is pounding and I have chills because it's truth. Mm -hmm. Because this is a silent professional and his intensely private family who gave everything they never wanted recognition. And if somebody now that he is gone wants to get up and thank him for his sacrifice, for his service, to tell the world his name, to tell the world he's out there serving, then God bless him. And you know what? For his beautiful wife to get up there, she's so private, for her to get up there and say, I'm going to do this because I love my husband and because he's worthy of this praise. He deserves this recognition. And for once, he doesn't have to be the silent person. For her to stand up and receive that for him is beautiful beautiful the you know you ask about my feelings on what Michael Moore said it makes yeah. me sick to my stomach it makes me angry because he's saying two things when he says that to me that a she's a fool mm -hmm. and doesn't know she's being used and that's ridiculous it couldn't be farther from the truth yeah. and it's also saying that this wasn't warranted and that in some way this has to always be political I get the ideas that it would be nice to say everything is a political ploy it, it totally negates though the meaning behind this and the meaning of it for all the people watching who cried with her is yeah. that some valiant people are out there fighting, not for Republicans, not for Democrats. They're fighting for this country, and God bless them for doing it. Yeah. It, you know, it struck me so strongly, and you share so much with Corinne, so you understand how she feels having lost your husband as well. But when he said, this poor woman, I thought to myself, there's nothing poor about her. She's incredibly strong, and she is standing up there, just, you could see her breathing through, just trying not to cry, um, and taking in that moment for him, for her husband, and, and for him, for Michael Moore to judge her and, and basically suggest that she didn't understand that she's a pawn in this game, I just, I find it so reprehensible. What would you say to, yeah, to Corinne that, about that? Like, well, you know, what would you say to her? Oh, I just feel like I know her already. You know, we mm -hmm. have a lot of friends in common, and I understand that intensely private feeling, and I understand taking the courage to get out and say, you know what, this is not about me, and it's not about my need for privacy. What this is about is my husband, who she's always going to love. You can see her looking up to the skies. I can't 
tell you how much I can relate to that because she's looking for him. She's saying, this is not about me, babe. This is about you. And I am proud of you. And you deserve recognition, even though you never wanted it. I get what she's saying. And, and I could not agree with you more. And I think that, you know, a lot of people at home watching feel the same way, that, that he's a hero and she is strong. Yeah, I mean, she is anything but a poor woman or a poor widow. She has more strength in her little finger than most people would have in their lifetime. She's lived well a life said. where she had to be strong. And this is another step in her journey of being stronger than she wants to be.